comes from sort of what happened to us on these devices in the world that was greatly would change if you come to the world. <coughs> so in that sense, in that particular sense, uh, it, it was a real delay because of one extreme of labor to the other, right? Uh, what I want to ask is if um, the discussion in the document about spending possibly spending money on Because of our developing links with Cheshire West and Cheshire East, would who, who I'm not sure who's in advance of the other, in the sense that we need an assessment of how what we've got fits in with what they've got, whether they would pay us or like that, or we go down the road if we have share something somewhere else, or we don't necessarily need to stand by our own. So I don't need to understand where we are, where we're going to be in terms of how cost effective investment. That's an extremely good question. As we talk with Cheshire about what they've got, the answers are extremely complex. For example, this device that just failed is called an EMC device made by them. Cheshire just bought one, their first. In that sense, they've decided that for cash and performance reasons, what we've got is worth following. In their data centre, they've got standby generators. But they haven't got two independent devices, sound devices. So they win on one side for a standby generator, which is over two hundred thousand pounds coming. But there'd be a lot of investment to do to bring what they've got to a cloud level of a backup. That's why I haven't approached it the same way that we did you know, three years ago and now this has been designed. I just say that the, the sort of cost you talk about with these devices is order of half a million pounds. So we talk about lots of cash. Evaluated with Cheshire when we talk to them about how we may share what they're doing. For example, we've already talked about the idea that they might share on our computer rooms alongside their computer room because they only have one computer room and if we do duplicate it together, then we might both get benefit. So, not too much investment. But this is pretty complicated stuff and we haven't started doing it in detail yet. But we're certainly looking at it and certainly today, there's been a guy on site today talking with me briefly about this sort of thing, um, which obviously is complicated and there's a lot of investment to consider before we decide what we're going to do. Uh, I do assure you that if we did take the decision to go ahead with them for standby generator, uh, we would make sure that we could deploy in different places if we have to. Um, so the investment to be used elsewhere with many of the things that I'm sorry to be a bit late, but it's really complicated, uh, in fact, very complicated.
One of his points was that the world is extremely well supplied with electricity. I think it's because of all the heavy industry that is in the world and has been in the world. That the, and all our lives into the world are underground as opposed to on top. For reasons like that, he was saying that the security of the, uh, the supply to the world is very high. But, but for me, the IT guy, not the, not the power guy, what I'm concerned about is the deer that goes through a line um, in the street, you know, in our down street, for example. And you can't legislate against that. That might happen. Or another way of losing the power would be a national cut, which has been in the press recently. For those reasons, I think uh, it is justified to spend the two billion thousand pounds on a satellite generator. And I made that recommendation to the people outside my due responsible for the power. And I'm, that's been put on the risk list quite recently, and I think it's pretty poor. I haven't got a figure, but in, in my experience, you know, uh, I think once a year, it's a sort of uh, rate that I have had to handle lots of power in uh, IT sections over the last you know, 10 years, uh, and once or twice it's been quite severe. Um, so anything less than 10 minutes we handle with batteries now, but in more than 10 minutes, batteries will power down wheel pen up you know, in an orderly way. When the power comes bring back up. So we, we, we're now protected as far as it can be until we get a satellite generator. The other, the other point that the guy made was if you do have a satellite generator, you do have to look after it. You have to have staff who test it every morning, who make sure the oil is in the, uh, yeah, in the, it's being supplied to it, who, um, who take off all the power in the four lines and prove that it's going properly and things like that. And obviously, here, if we have a power generator, very compared with this one, we would make sure it was big enough to power uh, the rest of the floors in the treasury building, so that we can have, use our uh, computers as well um, uh, with the satellite generator. That would be something for Mark Campbell to consider on the continuity issue. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
very, very hard to minimize. 